أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صلى الله على محمد وعلى آله أصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين رضيت بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا وبمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رسولا ونبيا ربي أعوذ بك من همزات الشياطين وأعوذ بك ربي أن يحضرون ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري يسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يحفه قولي سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العزيز الحكيم <coughs> إن شاء الله we continuing on with the, uh, the workbook on hadith as well as hibs in leadership we, this, this, we're still in a section of hadith this is the second section and we're going to start with the saying of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Salatin man jama'ahunna faqad jama'a imanan insafat min nafsihi wa bazluhu as-salam li la limi ila limi والإنفاق من إقتاره The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Whoever has three qualities will have completed the faith Fairness from yourself towards others Offering peace to the world and spending in charity even while poor Teacher's comments In order to have total faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the day of judgment a person must have three following qualities. It's very important that they be fair and just in their dealings with others, but must be fair with themselves first. Likewise, the Hafiz candidate and Holy Quran teacher alike. Both must be fair with their abilities and those who they are teaching, as well as the leader must also demonstrate fairness and give a feeling of peace and security to everyone. Each professional must understand that Allah has made injustice forbidden even upon himself. This also means that they must be honest and not untrustworthy or untruthful in that in which they have uh, been entrusted with. That in, in terms of the leader, what they say and do upon themselves, it counts. The leading by example and what they do as well to others, this also counts. All three types of individuals make a serious effort to be kind and peaceful in everything that they do, but they must also give to others even when they don't have much themselves. A good word, a smile, or a kind gesture are all great examples of giving charity even when one has nothing else to give and Allah Ta'ala knows best. Al-Bukhari 28 Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Inna Allah uhiya ilayhi an tawadaw hatta la yabqi ahadun ala ahad ولا يفخر أحد على أحد. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, Verily Allah has revealed to me that you must be humble towards one another, so that no one oppresses another or boasts to another. Or as the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, Teacher's comments. The above hadith mentions the importance Allah has prescribed and made incumbent upon the believers to be humble towards each other. Humility for the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala avoids people from being arrogant and less aggressive towards, other, towards each other in the wrong manner. Humility increases positive experience and compassion towards each other and makes the person more sincere in how he or she behaves. It also avoids one from being embarrassed because 
they are always trying to suppress the ego. The happiest candidate and more the happiest candidate uh, is more capable and more capable I'm sorry leaders have this important quality of personality and personality of being humble. Allah wants people to be unified and caring for each other's needs and not to fight and be oppressors to each other. And that is why the Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says being humble towards each other will avoid believers from oppressing each other and being boastful towards one another. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. This is from Muslim 2865. <laughs> قلنا لمن يا رسول الله قال لله ولكتابه ولرسوله وأئمة المؤمنين وآمتهم وآمة المسلمين وآمتهم أو كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said that the very the deen is sincerity. The deen is sincerity. So he was asked, To whom, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or Messenger of Allah? And he said, To Allah, his book, his messenger, the leaders of the believers, and the common people of the and the leaders of the Muslims and the common people of them, or as he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, teaches comments. Being sincere means that you are not deceitful, hypocritical, untruthful, or untrustworthy in any way. When someone is sincere, they are genuinely compassionate and very caring about what they are involved in. The hadith speaks of the importance of sincerity in Islam to the point that it is for Allah to be sincere and expects us to conform to the sincerity in how we worship Him. Sincerity also includes being serious and respectful as well as having a strong belief in what it is one is believing or one is being sincere about. As can be cited in this hadith as well, sincerity is based upon the wisdom and manners of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Holy Quran in every way. The way believers become successful between each other and every effort of their lives, in every effort of their lives must be dealt with according to sincerity. The believers and their leaders, as well as those who are common people, um, all must conform to being sincere a community which respects the counsel of being sincere also gives sincere advice and adhere accordingly. Allah is most sincere beyond what his creation knows and every word which has been revealed by him in all the revelations is based on sincerity. Likewise, the personality of the Prophet wasallam was very sincere towards everyone, including his enemies, the righteous believer and his candidate alike, must show that they are also sincere as Prophet was in how he led and revised the Holy Quran and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Allah Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam da' man yuribuka ila man yuribuka fa inna sidqa tuma'nina wa inna ikha'a the Prophet ﷺ said, Leave alone that in which makes you doubt, for that in which does not make you doubt. Rarely the truth brings peace of mind and falsehood souls doubt. Or as ﷺ said, the Messenger teaches comments. The Messenger of Allah is referring to the things which create and increase doubt in a person as a reason to avoid such matters. If someone is not clear and cannot be clarified, it is best left alone when there is an alternative that will make better sense to pursue 
and has better means of being clear in adhering to. He, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, makes a point to mention that doubt and falsehood are connected to each other and that truth is connected to peace. Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also establishes the importance of being more receptive to that which is truthful and righteous. This is a means of eternal peace. Al-Islam is based on truth and is clearly which increases peace within the hearts and minds of his followers. The Hibs candidate leader and Holy Quran teacher alike should all comply with the main point of this hadith because having peace of mind and being satisfied with the truth is easy to understand when there is no doubt. All trades of focus aims to demonstrate clear guidance and the ability to make things easier, not harder. It, is, it must be noted that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam always chose the easiest alternative if it did not, conf- if it did not conform to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's prohibitions. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala knows best. Next hadith. Qala Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam إن من حسن الإسلام المرء تركه ما لا يعني. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Verily, from the perfections of Islam is that a person leaves alone that which does not concern him or her." Or as Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, teaches comments, the perfection of Islam means that the benefits and that which is best from the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in terms of the perfections. Al-Islam is all perfect no matter how people understand it. But among that in which makes the perfect application of the deen is that the true believer minds their own affairs and leaves alone other people's matters for them to handle. A harvest candidate is more likely to demonstrate success in their hives if they focus on that which concerns them and not spend time being involved in matters of others. As for the Holy Quran teacher and leader, part of their responsibility is knowing what each team member or student leaves or levels and what their levels are and locations at all uh, times, which is their business. The above hadith has to do with having good characters in terms of dealing with affairs of others. The Prophet ﷺ discloses the perfection in Islam, to be that which belongs to a person, to be their concern and responsibility. However, if something is not your business and there is no sincere benefit in you being involved in it, for that matter, it does not concern you and you have no business being concerned with it. When a person is mindful of what concerns them and handle it according to what is their right to do, they are following the means of the perfection which Islam is upon. And it's according to sayings and traditions of the Prophet, the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and Allah knows best. Next hadith. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لأخيه ما يحب لنفسه. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, None of you truly believe till he or she wants for their brother or sister what they want for themselves, or as Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said. Teacher's comments, none of you in this sense is referring to the companions of the Prophet at that time, but extends to all Muslims until the end of time. Similarly, the Quran was for the time it was revealed to the end of time, and those who witnessed its revelation knew it was meant for them, as it is meant for us today. Believing in this instance, means to have accepted al-Islam and the article of Iman. This is what is referring to 
the believing, the believer, namely believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the angels, the books, the prophets, and the day of resurrection, as well as the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if a person is to have the true faith in the Holy Quran and Sunnah, but does not want for the next person what they want for themselves, their understanding of Islam is incomplete and their faith uh, mechanism is flawed. Even those who are not Muslim, the true believer wants them to become Muslim and love the way of Allah more than how they are today. In other words, hoping that the non-Muslim becomes Muslim and understand Al-Islam better than we are today in hopes to do more than we are doing today for the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The true believer wants that even for the non-Muslim. This hadith also demonstrates and points out the connection between wanting the best for others with faith and its completion. A true believer wants the next person to have what is best for them because it gives them blessings from Allah for having greater intentions for the next person. Good intentions create good results and wanting to have pure faith means a person should have great intentions and not to be selfish or greedy. If the person knows that Allah gives 10 rewards for one good deed, they will want more for the next person because that only increases their shares with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's reward. The Hibs candidate and true leader have the same mindset and desire in terms of wanting everyone to succeed as they succeeded. That is also pertaining to the memorization tactics and taking control of the lower self as a person who memorizes well, he or she should want for others candidates to do even better, which will increase their ability in obtaining the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and getting the reward of mastering the Holy Quran as well by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Inshallah, this is in Bukhari 13. We will uh, continue from here with this with the workbook. We're now on page 27 and we will continue until page 96. Assalamu alaikum.